It's been a week since Apostle Takim invited Apostle Kimani for an apostolic chat in any national television so that they can confront each other and iron out doctrinal errors. I throw a challenge at you. I'm going to pay for the airtime in any of the media houses in Kenya for two hours. I will pay them. They will host me and you. They will check revelation. And you a background check. Sinikweli. Ajue huyu kemani anatoka wapi anaenda wapi Bring your question I will bring mine Listen This is not Taki is not Nigerian Remove that stop hiding in my nationality Stop hiding in is is not respecting fathers I respect fathers Apostle Kimani unfortunately appears to have used a fellow Nigerian preacher to respond to Apostle Takim which many will consider a show of spiritual immaturity so you won't, I don't know, what, what tribe is he from? We don't know. Is he? No, 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 you can't do that because we are live. Uh, uh, so anyway, anyway, um, even in Hausa uh, tradition, respect is also there. They will never betray one another. Ibos are the same thing. So it must be some kind of dysfunction in his upbringing or his education or the fact that he may have been traumatized by somebody in ministry <laughs> so you have to find out the root of his problem because for every visible problem there's a root problem that you have to go to and if he is disturbing the the equilibrium in a wrong way then there's a biblical procedure for it people will go and talk with him if he doesn't do or or listen then you escalate it and if he doesn't listen then in the kingdom there are seven levels of judgment if you refuse correction at the first level God escalates things to this to the next level so if there's a church problem here yes elders will go and talk to the person if he doesn't if he refuses it goes up to the main pastor if it's not worked with God will hand him over to civil authorities and it goes higher and higher in Corinthian church there was a man that was sleeping with his father's wife after they had tried to help the man and he refused to be helped Paul had no choice but to hand him over to Satan <laughs> for the destruction of his flesh so that his soul can be saved so let me say it this way if this guy refuses to conform God will deal with him or kick him out period as long as what he's doing is 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 clearly biblically wrong so responding to a question asked by asunta juma who is apostle juma's wife the preachers in kenya seem to be very disturbed by apostle takim's boldness in calling out error we have a nigerian young man around and he is really talking and harassing our fathers my question to you is, I know you are from Nigeria. Is it in the order or manner of Nigerian young men to rebuke their fathers? I think that's um, a matter on my heart. And I think uh, you need to help us so that we know what to do or how to behave. Because it may be cultural. Pastor T, who was the moderator, lamented how Apostle Takim has not spared anyone erring in doctrine, terming it as a small problem. Well, only a baby can call doctrinal error a small problem. We can say it is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All of us seated here have encountered a piece or two of his opinion. Yeah, he's claiming that uh, doctrine, doctrine matters. He is correcting doctrine in the country. And, and there is no preacher 
that is true to according to him all of them are error and he uses the word they are stupid and yes, foolish and they need to be schooled uh, because uh, some of them even what they teach is beyond is below Sunday school really that's just pride and rebellion pastor t was also quick to tap into the wisdom of his fathers in another display of feebleness so we can't permit someone to just come and discredit them and make us look as if we don't have fathers and the second thing the bible says the sons are the one who contend for the fathers at the gates so i believe this is not it does not need the fathers we are there it is a small matter. The truth mongers reached out to Apostle Kimani to find out his response on Apostle Takim's gesture of an apostolic chart, but his phone remained unanswered even after several attempts, and so we decided to release this video. We'll sit there so that the whole Kenyans will watch us as we examine scriptures. I am challenging you for an apostolic chart. On air. Not in the closet, so that we will not see. We will stand in the whole world. Let them watch us. And I will confront whatever you are doing. And you confront whatever I am doing. Then we bring the Bible and check. So as the sober Christians await for Apostle Kimani's confirmation for the apostolic chart, the truth mongers shall be on ground to bring you the latest development of this story. Watch all other videos that may interest you in this channel and do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell and share widely for more souls to be saved. See you on the next one.